Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. So today, I wanted to talk to you about the Acme IPMS show down in Smyrna, Georgia. It was exactly a week ago today that we were down there and met a lot of great YouTuber channels that, you know, I've, I've watched you guys, I've listened to you, I've commented, you know, I consider all of you to be uh, friends, but I actually got to meet a lot of you when we were down there and that was really cool. But yeah, there's always a bad, it seems. Um, had a memory problem. Uh, yeah, okay, it affected the camera. And you can figure out if it was the camera memory or my memory. But um, anyway, shooting a lot of video down there, or at least I thought. Um, and I got home and half of it wasn't even there. So not real sure what happened uh like i said i don't know if it was a memory card issue i don't know if it was me just not uh hit and record on the camera um i was really excited to meet uh everybody that i met down there and the show and the swap meet and everything else so i don't know um heck it could just be old age starting to sneak up on me but either way um, i know that i promised you guys some really good coverage from the uh, Acme show down in Atlanta, so I'm going to show you what I got. But if you want complete show coverage, um, one of the better videos that I've seen, and I, it's not the best, and I'm not saying that the rest of you that have put videos out didn't do a good job, but Tim at Throttle Power did a really great coverage video of the show. So um, I'm going to leave a link in the video description. You can go over and check that out. And uh, there's no way that, uh, I don't think I could have made a better video. Uh, good job, Tim. So anyway, with that said, I wanted to talk about some of the stash ads that I got. Now I know I haven't been building a whole lot. Uh, I actually do have a, uh, a model on the bench and it's for George, for the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. I'm building an F8J Crusader for him. That's a whole nother video though. Uh, we're not gonna get into that right now. So. Let's talk about some of the stash ads. Now, you guys probably saw the video that I just recently did about Hobbytown USA down in Kennesaw. And you also saw that I kind of got excited with a couple kits in my hand. So, take a look at those. So the first one that I'm gonna show you here, this is a 148 scale. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, you see me back here behind me. 148 scale F4J Phantom. It's the Showtime 100. This is a famous aircraft. Um, Commander Cunningham and Ray Driscoll were actually aces in the Vietnam War for the Navy flying this aircraft. So you guys might already know that I got a series that I'm calling Aircraft of the Angels. And this is going to be one of the builds for that series. I'm going to actually build this as a Blue Angels F4J Phantom. So I still have to get the decal set for it and everything, but it's going to be a nice build. Looking forward to it. Now the next thing that I picked up down at Hobbytown USA is this F3H2 Demon. Now, this is kind of going along with my aircraft build. Um, if you go back and look and see everything that I've got in my collection, almost every one of them are Navy or Marine aircraft. So this sticks with that. I'm actually working my way into the early jet age. I'm working backwards actually from present day to, um, I guess back toward World War II. But, uh, so I picked this one up also. They had a really nice price on it. And the nice thing about Hobbytown USA is they actually do a military discount down there in Kennesaw. So I was able to pick these up pretty cheap. Um, not a really rare kit, but I don't see it on the shelves very much. So I wanted to grab it while we we're down there. So also while I was down in Hobbytown, 
they had this sitting out by the front door on a table and it had this little uh, post-it note stuck to it complete and unassembled for twelve dollars now you can't beat that twelve dollars so I got this uh, CUDA street machine and it's an older monogram but I have gone through the box already and it looks like it is complete um, so it's gonna be a nice build when I get around to that so that was one of the stash ads that I got um, car wise now I got one more let me see if I can find it here yeah if, if I'm having to look for it you know that uh, there's there's a lot here so uh, where did it go? there it is all right and the other one also sitting out on the table by the front door was this Challenger RT now it has been partially assembled and it's got this this little post-it note here and it says appears complete off sprue some assembly done and I did go through it and I looked at the instructions and it appears that all the parts are there so what was this one uh, ten dollars ten dollars at Hobby Town so these two kits that I picked up over there at Hobby Town for 22 bucks that's less than you can pick one up down at uh, well your local hobby shop you guys probably know the, the the lobby that I'm talking about but anyway so picked all those up down at Hobby Town and uh, real excited about it and then of course we go to the show um, the uh, the Acme show later that day and they had this huge swap meet I mean there were tables and tables and tables of vendors there were some great prices out there there were some really rare kits on the table now of course these guys know what they have so the rare kits they were asking you know a pretty good penny for it and I wasn't in the position to go spend a whole ton of money down there but I spent about a hundred bucks let me show you what I got we'll hold that one till last so found this sitting down there now I know that I've got a big fan of my blue 69 Camaro. $12, all right? Um, and of course, that's the blue one right there. I'm thinking that this one might end up being maybe a Pro Street or a Street Rod or something else, I don't know. But uh, I figure can't never have too many 69 Camaros, right? Don't answer that. All right, let's see what else we got here. We're not going to show that one yet. Okay, so we'll go right here. Okay, the same place that I picked up the '69 Camaro, I got this '70 and a half uh, Chevy Camaro. Uh, it's muscle, made by AMT. Uh, I've seen some of you guys build this and uh, I've always liked this body style. I always thought it was really slick. Um, this one was $15. So like I said, some really good deals down there at the Acme show. So these two Camaros cost me $25. So, all right, let's keep going. Now this is a kit that I had built as a kid. Um, but it had a different motorcycle in it when I built it. So, um, but anyway, I got this El Camino kit. Uh, I saw it and I've been looking for it. Uh, had, I mean, not terribly hard, but I've been looking for it. And so when I saw it, uh, I was like, yeah, you know, I, I want to go ahead and get that one. And again, $15. All right. So you guys keeping track? That's $40. These two aren't from the show. My wife, Ernie. My lovely, beautiful, wonderful wife, Ernie. Now, a lot of you know her, Ernie Hatmaker. Uh, she was down at the show with me, and a lot of you got the chance to meet her. And uh, I I'm really happy that she went and supported me. But she came and got me uh, early in the show, and she's like, hey, come here, come here, I want to show you something. And so she pointed it out and she says, I've always wanted a truck like this. I want you to build this for me. So I've got a 1976 Chevy Sport Stepside 4x4. 
and uh, we're gonna be building this one and I got this one for $22 now that's about what I could grab one at uh, the local hobby shop but they generally don't have these in stock at least not my hobby shop so it's glad to get that one all right so you guys keep in track that's $62 now you probably would not have expected this but at the model car show I picked up an F8F Bearcat uh, this is a testers kit it is a old kit um, probably mid 80s I would I would guess um, I haven't looked at the box but uh, it's all there and remember I told you aircraft of the angels well they flew the Bearcat it was the second aircraft type that the Blue Angels flew and that's what I'm gonna be building this one into so pick this up down at Acme also and I want to say that yep $12 so got this one really cheap so what does that take us up to $72 so far um, and then of course I, I picked up a whole bunch of tires and wheels down there and I'll show those to you here in just a moment but all together all the tires and the wheels were right around $25 but here take a look at those so these are the ones that I'm really excited about these are Bridgestone they're actual rubber tires and you can tell that they're pretty wide tires wide on the back a little bit more narrow in the front but they're low profile they come with the cross drilled disc and caliper and of course the back half of the wheel so that's gonna be a real nice hot rod setup somewhere in the future I'm just not sure exactly what I'm gonna use them on and I got this set of torque thrust uh, rims I got two sets of Goodyear's one of them is like a rain tire one of them is a street tire and you can see how thick those are and I've got these over here these are actually Bridgestone uh, wheels and tires and uh, they're they're pretty wide as well so those will look good on a street rod and I've got this this is an older style uh, chrome plated like mag wheel aftermarket wheel not real keen on those tires um, they're they're a really poor reproduction of a Goodyear tire but anyway so I picked those up the the price is really cheap on them now I did like these um, these are like old school uh, white walls with a, uh, a Krager style mag on it and so I'm thinking maybe an old school build I might end up putting those on these are really cool these are wire wheels um, they got front and back halves and they come with spinners I got a complete set of spinners with those so those will look good on something and then I got these which is an old almost like a Krager SS but it's a set of slicks and then a, um, a regular Goodyear tire in the front so pick those up down at the swap meet all right lastly the last thing I got when we were down at Acme was they were doing the door prize drawings at the end of the show and people just weren't looking at their ticket numbers people weren't coming up and, and grabbing the kits so they just started you know what was the first car that Ford or you know who built the Edsel and just asking questions and whoever raised their hand I mean they were tossing kits at them well I intercepted a couple of those kits and handed them off to the rightful owners that got the questions right and right toward the end the fellow that was up on the stage and I know he's part of the Acme crew um, I don't know his name but I believe he was a former Marine uh, anyway Semper Fi brother um, he threw this down at me he says you've been a real good sport here you go and he threw this at me now this is probably about a $25 kit so if you're keeping track that would have put me right around the $100 range down there at Acme so I got a lot of really nice stash ads while I was down there and I got a couple more just before we left now I went to my local hobby store, you know, the lobby, and I picked this up. Well, they had the 40% off coupon at the time. This was the only, excuse me, 69 Mustang 
that they had on the shelf. The box was a little damaged. And so I asked them, I said, can I open this up and take a look at it before I buy it? And they said, sure. So I opened it up and nothing's damaged on the inside. It was just the box. So anyway, 40% off. And you might also know that this is the first Mustang kit or the first Ford kit that uh, I've got in my collection. So who knows? Got to branch out and expand a little bit. And finally, same time I got the Mustang, I got the duster kit. Um, I have been to this hobby store several times up to the lobby and uh, I've picked it up and I've put it back on the shelf and I must have done it five or six times. And I finally bit the bullet and I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get it. Duster is always a nice car. I love the way they look. It was priced at $29.99 and I got it 40% off. So. so anyway, you guys see this stack over here? I mean. I've got a lot of models sitting here waiting to be built. So, okay guys, so that's all I got for today. Take care, God bless, and remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Video? Another video. Okay. That, that's right guys, that's another video. Hey everybody, how you doing? It's attention to detail, and we are at the Acme Model Car Show down in Smyrna, Georgia. So I'm gonna take you inside, kind of give you a walk around, show you some of the models that are on the tables, and you might even meet one or two YouTubers. I don't know, we'll see who's here. But uh, come along, join me. All right guys, so here we are. This is an entrance, and as you can see, there's vendor tables, um, there's display tables. So I'm gonna walk you around and show you what's here. There's some good deals here as well. Some pre-built, half-built, some older kits. See, I told you guys we were going to see a couple of YouTubers. That's right. Hey, how, how you doing? So, tell, tell everybody a little bit about your channel. Okay, Monty Davis 60. I uh, like to build muscle cars, classic tri-fives, anything odd and different. All right. And we also have... I know. And Morris. Morris goes to model shop. All right. And I'll build anything that doesn't run away and hide. <laughs> <laughs> so, just remember, if you want to see anything that's the channel to go look at but anyway like i said uh there's plenty of youtubers around here there's a lot of vendors around here and uh yeah so we're, we're going to continue our tour and hopefully you enjoy uh thanks for coming along for the ride so yeah just i mean look at all the plastic that's here You get some good deals as well if you look hard enough. So anyway, we're going to walk over here and we're actually going to take a look at the models that are here for the contest. So I know that's what you guys have been waiting on. So let's get to it.
please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.